Hello, friends and neighbors. Welcome to another production of the program. Here we are on TV. Oh, once again, once a day, every day. Turn on the machines and live. Forever. Yes, I'm alive and I made it all the way back around here to Sunday. Look at this. Look at these lights. Look at this stuff. Isn't it neat? Um, wow. You know, maybe I should have something to say as I sit down here. Oh, man. Yeah. Why is this food so wet? It's not supposed to be so wet. Very wet. Today, maybe I gripped it. Did I grip it too hard? Why is it so wet? Seems aggressively wet today. To oh, I'm just saying what I'm doing. I'm saying what I'm eating. That's what I've been doing because. I right, sit down and eat this food. Was it yesterday I got Thai food? I'm just getting Thai food after Thai food. Last night I got the rain, rainbow noodles. Was that last night? Now I'm eating Pat CU in the truck. Truck's not open that late. Truck is better, I think. Well, they both have their ups and downs. The truck come with lime. But maybe they already put the lime in there. In the, in the pad to you, put the lime. In the, uh, I don't know where you get these carrots that are shaped like this. I if you're about to buy them or if they have I don't know anymore. I don't know what's right and wrong. I don't know what's good and bad. Somebody gonna tell me what morals are? Uh, on Saturday, that was yesterday, I did the program here. Oh, look at that steam. You can see it. Ah, it is hot. <laughs> Maybe I should wait for the steam to visibly stop on the screen. I can see the screen and the steam. Um, did the program here at the studio at around 7.30, 8 o'clock, probably 8.30. Oh, oh. Very hot. Very hot. Like heat hot, not spicy hot. Very heat hot. Um, yesterday, around 8 o'clock, what did I do? I was talking to Andrew for a while last night about um, getting the food. Uh, the, it, it, yeah. yeah, that was last night. I talked through about greeting, about saying, tired. Are you tired? You can go to sleep and wake up and do more things. I'm tired. That was what I was saying yesterday. I'm not too tired today. I didn't do much. Because yesterday, after the program, I went home to my residence on my bike to go to lay my head and lay, lay myself down, lay myself to rest. Now I lay me to rest, I guess the pray the, pray the Lord my soul is kept, and if I should die before I wake, I pray my Lord the soul to take. Um, but uh, I did make it home. And I, uh, I'm reading this book, I'm doing this tape stuff. Mm. 
I guess it's, yeah, it's still books. I'm reading it on the Kindle. Um, and I want to, uh, doing a radio thing, listening to the radio, going, watching TV. I'm watching the My Name is Earl show. Whoa. The show is from, like, 2004 or five or something. I don't remember it all. I don't remember which part of the show I watched and which which part I didn't watch, but now I'm watching it again. The episodes are... I don't remember them all. So, I was like, hey, rewatch it. Why not? I mean, what do you remember anyway? Like, the details of the stuff? I usually don't remember the details of stuff. You know, you rewatch stuff over and over and over. Uh, or remembering new stuff, or watching, reading new things, watching new things. It's all media. You have new experiences or not. I guess eventually they start kind of blending together. Eating your food. Watching your shows. Doing the same things. Back and forth, day to day. After the uh, sleeping last night, I woke up. I uh, had a plan. I'm going to get there to Lacey to get a battery. Uh, I had been buying stuff online, but this time I wanted to, to buy a store. Uh, that's kind of fun to do, I guess, you know? Go to the store. I went to uh, Fred Meyer and Lacey. I was going to go to Value Village and uh, the dollar store. The dollar store didn't have the battery I was looking for. And uh, Value Village and everything I wanted to buy. I rode the bus to the dollar store. Then you had the battery. I left. I went to the Fred Meyer. They had the battery. From a usual camera. And I got, I got a single battery. From the and uh, I don't know. I'm supposed to go to places only when it's important. You know, the world's getting kind of regular. Restaurants seem kind of crowded. Things are happening in the world. I hear some music right now. I'm playing the drums right down the street. I got back here. I put the battery in the camera at work. I watched a little bit of Air Force One, which I've been taping over, but now I'm watching it. Just get off my plane. Um, but Harrison Ford's the president in the movie. Have you seen that spoiler alert? I guess that's the entire premise of the movie, though. Premise alert. Um. I watched the movie a little bit. One more. Or the tie truck to get this food, but on my way out there, I uh, recognized somebody who I haven't seen in a year, and uh, I don't see him on the social media, though, so I, I, I ran into him, and then I said, like, hi, it's been a while, you know, regular stuff, and uh, I haven't seen you in a long time. It's true. Uh huh. Okay, bye. Like, what am I gonna do? What are you gonna do? Look, I go for years without talking to people anyway. Now that we've been inside for a year, and coming back out, it's a different kind of time. I've been out for two or three months now anyway. What's the coming to? What's the world coming to? Oh. Well, 
Should we get on the phone? I guess I didn't have that much to do or say. I just see people on the bus. We're getting laughed about it, but federal mandates and stuff. Oh. Yeah, I only did 10 minutes over there today. my wet food around with me everywhere I go. Um, you can call that number up there at 360 or you can go to YDHWM.com, get on the meet. See if anybody left any messages. Maybe yellow fellow, probably. More, even more messages. Trying to get through these. Yellow fellow, keep leaving them. It's good. It's good to do. It's good practice. Keep me occupied. And we're occupied. The movements. Well. What about just being occupied in general? Yep, yellow fellows, messages. Getting through them. Hey, um, Kenny. Uh, I just, uh, I don't know if I've told you this, I live across from a post office. Postmaster General himself, big guy, big important uh, authority figure in town, Postmaster General. The big church down the street from where I live, I'm driving by now. Uh, it's like a big castle. People in there talk about God. Oh, God. God, 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 God. God is a important guy who a lot of people believe in, and he's the ruler of it all the world and when people go to church that's where they're paying paying their respects to God and saying thank you God oh God you're an awesome God my phone keeps making a noise it goes ding a -ling. you hear that ding a -ling. my phone goes ding a ling a ling phone goes ding a ling a ling I live in a nice little town summertime the <laughs> a house that has a sign out front it's called Hand Gunner, so you can get handguns there if you want. I don't know if I'm allowed to have a gun uh, legally. You're a criminal? Um, I thought about looking into it as a protection thing because uh, I there's like it's hard, like if you call the cops for an emergency out this way, it takes like 30 minutes to get to you. I don't think anyone's going to care enough to try to come and attack me, though, or rob me. <laughs> Who knows? Uh, maybe somebody would want to come kill me. Who knows? What do you have? Um, but, sunny day, driving to the store, feeling a little better than I was the last few days. I think the last few days I was just in a rough patch. Maybe that last week was pretty rough, last week or so. It probably reflects in some of the messages. I think a lot of them are kind of nonsensical and me just like slurring and talking about fast food and nonsense and making noises. So, uh, the kid I work with, every dishwasher, fry cook, and uh, if you ask me questions about the dining room, like how, how many tables are left out there? Like, are there any more dishes on tables? Instead of answering them, I'll just tell them that there's a lot of bees. Here, and that's my new thing. I'll tell them hey, there's a bunch of bees out there. Some bees got into the dining room. And uh, I started to tell them it's the electronic bees that are broken. And there's more of them. There's more of them. Bees, huh? More of them. Yeah, I really like the... Uh, 
I like the dog that's starting off the Mastia show lately. The dog, he's getting a haircut. A dog. 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 Looking at all the cornfields. Dunkin' Dog. Dunkin' Dog. Coffee and dog. Swim in the coffee. Dunkin' Dog. Dunkin' Dog. Coffee and dog. Swim in the coffee. It's Dunkin' Dog. Dunkin' Dog. Coffee and dog. Swim in the coffee. It's Dunkin' Dog. Dunkin' Dog. Coffee and dog. I want to drink coffee. Maybe I'll go get some coffee. I want to drink coffee. Maybe I'll go get some coffee. Maybe I'll go get some coffee. I want to drink coffee. Maybe I'll go get myself some coffee. Some coffee. I want to drink some coffee. Maybe I'll go get some. Um, dog and dog, coffee and dog, stone and dog. Well, I see a graveyard yonder. There's a graveyard yonder in the distance, in the midst of the cornfield. There's a cornfield graveyard. <laughs> Wow. Hi, you've we you've reached the W instead of R. Hi, you've reached YGHWM. Please leave a message to get on TV. Hi, you've reached YGHWM. Please leave a message to get on TV. Um, I'm passing this insurance sign because they just put them up all around town. Uh, Spot insurance with two T's. Spot. And uh, whatever kind of insurance it is, there's these like dweeby looking guys on the sign. This one has his like fucking ginger hair. Fuck. Uh, pale looking. Like. Scared, a little scared look in his eye with a weird smile. And he's the cart to so that, that, that guy with a big goofy suit smiling at you like he's uh, pissing his pants. And he's sit, standing there next to a cartoon of a Dalmatian. That's where the spot, spot comes into play. Uh, I would never, I'd be, oh, the worst nightmare. I'd rather go to prison. I have to step into that office, see what they have in store for me there. No, it can't be anything good. And they're going to insure things for me there, that guy, that cartoon. I, want, I hope I go in there and the cartoon dog is there. There's a big empty room with a big cartoon dog who's alive. What about that? Huh? What are the odds of that, do you think? I think it's unlikely, probably. Yeah, probably not. Probably not. Yeah. Going to the grocery store and I have to get some gas. And I was passing this college and my windows are down and then I heard a crow. It was crowing. I looked up. I was like, what's that loud bird noise? And it was a crow on top of the college. It went, ah, 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 ah. That's what the crow did. Uh, oh, so I looked up. God. At the crow, and they acknowledged it. I don't know if it's on me, but it reminded me of an album from like 2016, I believe. It's a really sad album. I recommend it. Uh, Mount Erie. I don't know if you've ever heard of Mount Erie. Uh, I think he used to be in a band called The Microphones, but he releases music mostly as Mount Erie now. And, uh, called A Crow Looked At Me, and it's basically just an album about him uh, mourning 
his wife who had recently died, and he was like a, they were like a, had one daughter together, and the songs that he was writing while she was dying, and songs that were written right after she died, I think. But, uh, yeah, it's really good. It's really sad. Music, music connoisseurs. Yo, know, uh, um, should we call him? Should we call Andrew? Maybe we should call you up, uh, see if he's there. I don't think he's gonna be available. Bong, 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 bong. The Google subscriber you have called is not available. Please leave a message after the tone. Hey. Hey. Uh, was there an episode yesterday? I didn't get a chance to call yesterday. Was there an episode? Was there? Was there? Uh, the Olympia Press Building. The interesting looking building. Where I am. Very interesting. Very. Hello. Hey, Kenny. I'm ironing my pants. Uh, I watched uh, The Color of Space with Nicolas Cage. The Color Out of Space, something like that. It's really good. Um, what does Andrew think about the developments in uh, Israel and Pakistan? Or Palestine? <laughs> Pakistan. What does Andrew think about that? Um, what did you eat today? I see you. What did I, did I get to the bank in time before work? No, I don't think so. Will I get to the bank in time before work? No, probably not. Um, confused. I am confused. Time goes by so fast. Oh. Trying to figure out ways to be less of an annoying person. I've been dealing with that realization lately. I'm just kind of like a, like a shithead, kind of. I'm being annoying right now by talking about myself too much. Um, what's your, uh, what did you do today? Do you work? Did anything interesting happen at your sandwich shop? I uh, wonder how James is doing. I uh, wonder uh, if some Mark was talking on the show a little yesterday. I wonder how he's doing with his cigarette addiction. I was smoking a few cigarettes yesterday. Oh, good. Goodbye. Kind of impulse. You know, it went through with it. Yeah, kind of sobriety. That's the urinate. Right now, in this moment, I have to urinate. I guess know? those people at the... Uh, I have to smoke a lot. Urinate. But I'm ironing. I had some raspberries. Um, and blackberries, and some orange juice, and some coffee. Oh, I still have coffee. Let me take a sip. Oh, nice coffee. Damn good, I'd say. Damn good, Joe. 
Um, uh, um, uh, uh, um, uh, um, uh, um, uh, So, I'm reading this book, and the fourth edition of this book is called uh, Alcoholics uh, Fantagio. Alcoholics Fantagio. Fantagio. And it's a really good, it's a nice story, and uh, I'm, you know, uh, 50 pages in to it. Ah, I'm drinking some lime, fucking lime water. Oh, my co-worker got in a fight today. I don't know if that's going to be today. It'll be interesting. Now there's tension and drama. Which is, uh, it's not the place we want to get into like a fat, a workplace. Jesus, we leave. But yeah, this whole thing of Israel and Palestine. A lot of stuff going on there. People have some opinions. Um, people who are very pro-Israel. The United States, we've, we're very pro-Israel. We fund Israel heavily. Um, kind of without question. That's like... Somebody's question. If you, and if you like... Seems if you criticize Israel, you're like very tricky. It seems like there's not much uh, people don't have much uh, tolerance for criticism in, of Israel in any way. To the point where you'll kind of just be kind of just like blacklisted if you even air a single complaint. But I'm very, very uneducated. When it comes to, I'm very new. He's trying to dip my toes into this whole uh, global politics. This whole thing, this whole dilemma, but I'm not really. Not really much more I can say about the whole thing. Um, what are you gonna say? I don't trust our government. I'll say that no matter what. No matter what the uh, situation is, more to be all skeptical. Got the itis. Got the information. Um, let me show you the best thing. on the rail. My bum is on the rail. Yeah. Look at me. My bum is on the rail. My bum is on the Swedish. That's like 20 years old. Wow. You ever go to the, the Seattle? It's all shot in Seattle in that music video for some reason. Yeah. Swedish. Swedish hospital. You ever mm -hmm. been huh? huh? Yep. You been there? Swedish hospital? I saw, I saw it before. Yeah. I seen it. What? I seen it. You seen it? I seen it. I seen it. I seen it. I seen it. Mm. Um. Yeah, he was on public access. Oprah, Oprah, and Tom Green, and uh. What? Maybe Barbara Walters or something? All on, on public access, just like me when they started out. But then 
They probably made money faster than I, because I've been doing this for 11 years. <laughs> yeah. 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 They started off on, on the public access, so that's where I am. Still. Uh, ah? Long time. Yeah. yeah. What's, uh, you go to the market? Farmer's yeah. market? What are they doing? Are the people there? They have the mask <coughs> policy still? Oh, no, I got, I got the again. Oh. Yeah. What happened? Here, I got the again. Uh-oh. Uh -oh. oh. Uh, they're that's, gone. That scare you? No, but they're gone now. That's good. Why, well, you haven't for a long time? You want to talk about it? Uh, I woke up about 12 hours ago with hiccups and I couldn't get rid of it and it ruined my night and, and life. Were you drinking? Probably. Yeah. What's, what's the connection? I'm trying to figure that out too. I don't know, but that's I mean, this is like classic. Yeah, I know, but why? I don't know. I guess you get the hiccups when you're drunk. Do you? No. <sighs> I never really get the hiccups. I don't remember the last time I got them. But uh, you, people on cartoons, it, it, that's how you know the drunk. Yeah. It's like a one, one time I was at grandma and grandpa's house. Yeah. And uh, grandpa got hiccups, and they said. Apparently he had he had the hiccups for like three days straight. Oh my god! So we went to the hospital. Uh huh. Uh -huh. And they said they're not supposed to have hiccups for that long. <laughs> the yeah. end. Oh yeah, they they didn't they didn't <laughs> they didn't test. Did they give him a give test, test or something? They ran tests and shit. Have you seen that girl who sneezes constantly her whole life? <laughs> no. There's this girl on TV, and then she's or on YouTube, whatever I saw, and she goes, chip, 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 chip. Oh, it hurts. <laughs> chip, 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 chip. Yep. yep. Okay. Uh oh. Am I gonna sneeze now? Fuck, <laughs> I'm gonna sneeze. Start making. What would you rather have? Uh, non-stop. Sneezing or yawning? Oh, uh, yawning for sure. I like it. I just yawned right, 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 right before you said the word yawn. I yawned. So you want yawning? Yawning is not bad. Yawning is just like getting a good breath in. When you get a good yawn, I think it's a good feeling. Like, ah, uh, breathing. You ever tried to sleep when you can't yawn? Um, no. <laughs> Why? You try to yawn, you can't? Yeah. You gotta take a, take a deep breath. I just did it again. Sometimes I can't yawn, and then if you can't yawn, you can't sleep, and then you go insane. Yeah, I think you're thinking too hard about it. What's the difference between taking a really deep breath and yawning? Not that much. I feel like it's like, it's a weird, uh, what should we call it? Non uncon uncontrolled thing. What's it called in your brain? Uh, like breathing? Yeah, par like parasympathetic nervous system. All right. It's something that you can't control. Yeah, but you can control your breathing. You can take control of it. Some people can take control of their heartbeats, but uh, you just like do like breathe into your nose and out your mouth, or the other way around. What is it? Breathe into your nose, breathe out your mouth, slowly. Have you seen there's like that, that, that uh, gif of breathing, and it like opens up, and then it closes back down? Oh. You want to breathe? Here's how you breathe. You need some tips on breathing? <laughs> you ever breathed before? Here's a tip. Here's a tip. Breathe in as much as you can, and, okay. and, then, and then once you're all the way breathed in, Take a few more deep breaths in. Yeah. And then breathe out slowly. Uh, and then you'll yawn. Then I'm a, then you'll yawn. Then you'll fall asleep. 
I didn't eat anything until um, just now, and then I ate the whole thing, and now I'm very full and got the itis. So give me a fast. What'd you eat? Had to you. I went to the Thai truck. I ate Thai food two days in a row. Today I got. Is it better? What? Is it better than the taco truck? The Thai truck? Um. Uh, I mean, they're completely different. But I think I would, if I had to choose, I would definitely choose the taco truck. Like, if I, if I could only go to one place, like, if I could only eat at one place, oh, well, taco truck doesn't have any vegetables. Like, if I could only eat at one place, I guess I'd have to eat somewhere with some vegetables, but, like. Do they have vegetables? What? Uh... I don't know, actually. <laughs> Never mind. Yeah. yeah. Beans. Beans. I mean, Cabbage. What? what? Cabbage. Cabbage at the taco, taco truck? truck? Do they have some kind of coleslaw? I mean, they got like lettuce, I think. Lettuce. Is there lettuce? What's on the uh, torta? I'm trying to think, is there lettuce on there? Get the California burrito with lettuce. Is there lettuce in it? Yeah, but I get it without. Will you get the California burrito with like sour cream and stuff? With no, I say with no lettuce. Yeah, what else is in there though? French fries and cheese. French fries and cheese and and what? Meat, beans. French fries, huh? Is that good? Is it is it crunchy? The good fries? I don't know. That's the California burrito. And th is that what you get? No, you should. You should just get a regular burrito or a burrito with burrito supreme. I just get regular. Sometimes yeah. with avocado. But you should get a uh, California burrito, but don't get it with lettuce, because who wants fucking lettuce oh, in their burrito? There's a feather. There's a feather going down the out the window. I saw it just like Forrest Gump. <laughs> um, good luck. I like the. Uh, yeah, I think I like the taco truck better, but I think that the Thai food truck has well has vegetables. Yeah. So it depends. Eat What's the difference between eating fiber pills and vitamins versus eating vegetables? Um, I think well, I don't know about the fiber, but with the vitamins and stuff, I heard you absorb it better if it's in stuff. Like, maybe with the vitamins you don't absorb it all that well. That's why you got to eat it with food. They always say eat your vitamins with food. Oh yeah. Because the vitamins, I guess, they're gonna mix in with your food and stuff. But maybe like the vitamins, if you eat it with the food in the food, it is the food. So you don't have to eat it with food. It is food. No, I'm saying if you yeah, if you eat it with food, what's the difference? I just I think, think that, that it's, I heard that you absorb it better from, from when it's inside the food. Maybe it's better, like, spread out. Maybe it's a better idea to, like, take all your vitamins and then, like, grind them up and then, like, put them in, like, some kind of spread so you eat it, like, over time. Because I think you, what the thing is, when you eat the vitamins, at least for me, I just eat it like a handful of vitamins. And then, like, how much of that am I really absorbing? Yeah. But I'm doing both. I'm eating... I'm eating a good amount of vegetables. I eat a lot of spinach, a lot of broccoli, uh, dark greens, and I eat a lot of vitamins. That's good. I'm eating borderline too much vitamin D. I'm waiting to get like kidney problems or something. <laughs> or still diabetes. Oh, there you go. There you go. You hear that? I yawn. You're yawning. You're doing it. Oh, yeah. there's a little, there's a puddle across the street where the car is getting pretty deep with the cars. Um, they got mask mandate at farmer's market still, or do they, they lift it yet? They got to wear a mask. Still mask. Some places, uh, no masks. Right. Yeah. 
I went to Fred Meyer to get a better today, and it's like about 50 50. But on the, no bus, on the bus, you gotta wear a mask about Fred Meyer, about 50 50, no masks. Some of the employees not wearing masks, it's a weird time. Uh, if you're vaccinated, you don't need a mask. Yeah, yeah. but people just spit anyway. Everybody spits coming out of their mouth all the time. I don't even want that. They should just wear, people should just wear masks now forever. Yeah, spit when I talk, so you should wear a mask, you know? Yeah. Every, I do. Everybody do you? Should, yeah, I think everybody does. That's kind of how it is. Everybody spits when they talk. They should wear a mask. I don't think you can't. I mean, it's... It's definitely at least like, you, yeah, you spit when you talk, it just happens. Spit. The word spit. Like, say the word spit. You don't yeah. spit. Makes you spit. It's like, you can't really talk without spitting, so I think you gotta get a mask. It makes a lot of sense. Yeah, just wear, wear them all the time. Keep your nastiness inside your mouth. It's, it's basic science. If you yeah. talk, you'll spit. Yeah, it's, it's science. And they actually had that on, on the Japanese channel. Oh yeah, they're looking at your spit when you talk? <laughs> yeah. Because, uh, you know, they always have Japanese, like, like 90% of Japanese TVs is people on a panel reacting to shit. You know, yeah, I think that might be just like that, that, that Japanese channel. No, that's what all Japanese TV is. It's, there's always some guy or like a panel. There's always a panel of people in a screen reacting to stuff. Like ridiculousness. Yeah, 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 yeah exactly. It's like that, but for everything. Yeah. So they're like, oh, spit, oh, oh. <laughs> they, you know what other Japanese TV is other than the Japanese channel? That's all. The, all Japanese TV is like that. How do you know? Because. Well, I well, thought it's just on, on the Japanese, Japanese channel. channel. They should make more shows. I, I mean, have you ever seen the, the show The Talking Dead? Mm -hmm. I like that. I like that show more than The Walking Dead. That's why you just watch YouTube. Yeah, but I, you watch the show. I like to watch the show, and then I like to watch the panel show after the show. Yeah, I like that, too. Yeah, and they're like, hey, this, this is that show. So they could have that for any show. Any show that's, uh, that's on TV, they might as well just, like, after the sh episode, have the panel. Yeah, that's why it's on YouTube. They have that. Yeah. You watch uh, Loki? I did not watch it yet. You show. Sure? I'm watching My Name is Earl. That's alright. I'm on season four. I'm, this is the last season. You know what Jason Lee named his kid? What? Uh, Flight Inspector or something like that. <laughs> what is that? He's Scientology. Yeah. Is that a sign? Is that a uh, traditional Scientology name? No, it was when all those people, all the celebrities were naming their kids stupid names. Like, uh, uh Apple? Yeah. And, yeah. uh, North? What is it? Kanye, what, like, Northwest? Northwest? <laughs> yeah, Northwest. Yeah. So that, that's a little bit late. Yeah, but, yeah. What about, uh, what's Brad Pitt's, Pitt's kid's Pitt's name? Pitt's Something weird, weird too. too. Um, yeah, I don't know. I forgot. Uh, Apple, though. I remember that one. Yeah, that's yeah, a dumb name. Good. I want to get a, a dog and name the dog uh, John. Yeah. John the dog. Hey, John. John, I'm home. Right. Yeah. When are you going to name your kid, uh, like, um, any, anything, just like gravel. Uh -huh. What about Blanket? Michael Jackson's kid, Blanket. Yeah, that was pretty dumb. That's why he's sitting around in the room, he's looking around, he's like, uh, chair. He goes, let me put chair. Uh, table, uh, Blanket, oh, Blanket, okay, he's stuck with Blanket. That was the same time. Around yeah. the same time. The other kid's name was Blanket. Uh, Apple. Remember? 
Uh, Bush, Bush, remember our friend, friend Bush when we were little kids? kids? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yep. yep. Foreign lady didn't understand names. Yeah, yeah. the kid's name is Bush, Bush now. now. <laughs> <laughs> right. <laughs> And he's a little piece of shit. Yep. I don't remember why though. Why was he so bad? What did he do? He poked the he poked Yoshi in the eye and he he sucked. And his mom was really shitty. So we like one time they came over and we shot them with a bunch of like Nerf guns and then they never came over again. Oh wow, that's, oh, that's not nice of us. That's what I remember. Because I suck. He poked a dog in the eye. Yeah. What? On purpose? Yeah. That's crazy. That's what I remember. Oh my god. That's all, <laughs> that's all I remember. That's totally crazy. <laughs> I don't know if it's, I don't know, but I mean, people are like, what are you going to do when you're five years old? I guess poke, poke the animals in the eye when you're five? <laughs> right. Maybe he's a killer. I hope he's not a killer now or something. That's what I'm You're young. Hey, Bush. That's a funny name. Yeah, he was named after the president. Uh -huh. I named president. What? He named after president. Yeah, yeah, he's named after the president. <laughs> um, what'd you eat for breakfast? Uh, Curry? I don't know. What'd you, what'd you eat? This, I ate the Pat CU. Oh, pretty good. I didn't eat anything all day until like 3 or 30, and now I ate a whole, the whole Pat CU, and I'm kind of tired. It made me sleepy because of the itis. What is it? Noodles? They call it, I heard they call it drunken noodles. It's like wide noodles and oyster sauce and chicken and vegetables. That sounds pretty good. Yeah, you ever had oyster sauce? I'm going to get some out of the bottle. I'll have to go there. Yeah, I'm going to get oyster sauce in a bottle. Yeah. I, I want to go, you want to go back to Lakewood? I guess we're going to go try to go to that one place in, in Lazy. I uh, want to get more coconut water, but... Where are we going to go on Tuesday? I forgot. Go to get hamburgers, right? Where? Uh, uh South, South Bay. Bay. Oh, yeah. We'll tell Emily. We'll go to Emily's house. Yeah, go to Emily's house. Yeah. yeah. Last time she didn't want me to go to her house, she was too messy, but who cares? How, how bad could it be? Yeah, it's fine. We'll go there. We'll see her, her cat is a sick cat. It's sick? It has like a pink eye for its whole life. <laughs> what? Uh, is that... Is it so pink eye if it's that long? Is it going to be something else? I don't, I don't know, but it looks sick. It just always looks sick no matter what, huh? Yeah. That's not... Um... Yeah. Well, I'm going to record messages of the future here. I'm queuing it up. Oh, is it going? Okay. Tape's got to rewind. Um, well, what about you? What did you eat for breakfast? I don't know. I'm going to hang up. Goodbye. You're not going to get on this message to the future? No. Okay, bye. Uh, okay, fuck it. Bye. Wait, wait, sure. What? Oh, sure? Okay, let me... I gotta queue it up. It's gonna take me a, a, a second here. Um. Oh. What the heck is rewinding? Tip gotta rewind a little bit, and then, uh, then it'll be good. Then it'll be good. Oh, and then I'm gonna re, uh, like blank out the tape. You don't know we have breakfast. No. After work for the next uh, 12 days. Why? No, no break. <laughs> you have no days off. No day off. Why? I don't know. 
Yeah, that's how they scheduled you? Two jobs. Yeah. 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 That's, that's not, not good. good. Yeah. But you have a lot of time off, so what, if you didn't go to work, what else would you do? There's nothing anyway, right? So. Yeah, nothing. Not so bad then. Hey, future, it's us in the past. Hey, future, why do people work so much? What else are you going to do? Uh, I had the pat to you, and I got kind of tired of getting you on. You got to breathe deeply. I got the batteries. Are the batteries still working? Uh... What else, Andrew? Learn how to yawn. Bye bye. bye. Okay, bye. Okay, bye. Okay, it's called Gene. Or Freddy the producer? Or Gene? Freddy? John Webster? The gene, it's the daytime kind of. Bong, 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 bong. Your call has been forwarded to an automated voice messaging system. Two, zero, six. I don't know why Gene didn't have the thing where it says who you are. Four, five, is not available. At the tone, please record your message. When you've finished recording, you may hang up or press one for more options. Gene, it's the program you call us back. You have about uh, ten minutes. Okay, bye bye. Bong, 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 bong. Hey, you remember that day we were, we were talking about Duncan Dog? Remember we were talking about Duncan Dog? Duncan Dog? We were talking about the system and Duncan Dog. Take your vitamin. Bye. Drink, drink water. Drink some water right now. What are you gonna say to you today? Uh, this. You, yeah. Hi, future. What are you gonna say to us today? I'm not saying nothing. What's the future like? Do you still have all the products that you liked? That I like? Do you still have them? Well, green Cheetos? Hopefully you do. Do they still have jalapeno Cheetos? Because yeah. I'm, I'm afraid that those are going to go away. Have you know. seen some change that you regret? Do you wish that it was like it was now? I do. I feel good today. I hope you do. You're our future, and I guess you're a viewer too. Bye! Bye. Uh. Oh, hey, can you hi there? Hi. 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 Can you hi? Hi. Um, so you talk about dead squirrel, huh? You just found a dead squirrel last week. And you're going to look for more. You're going to look for more. Dead squirrels? More dead squirrels. You said next time you find a dead squirrel, when you're out and you're looking for something on the street, you should eat it. The next time you find a dead squirrel, you should eat it. Just get off your bike and eat it. Because it's probably healthy with the meat and the protein. And the fur probably has about some nutrients or zinc or something in there. And, or you could use the fur as like a hat and you scalp it off and put it on your, and, and staple it to your head. It uh, could be a, a, a hat for you to wear on the street. Mm. Drink my sparkling water. Or you could take that airplane home, the squirrel I mean home, and you could turn it into an airplane. If you're just flying around in it. Uh. 
Hey, Kenny, it's raining outside today. Uh, do you think my refrigerator is alive? He has, ends up talking to me when I'm asleep. Because I'm asleep, but I'm still wandering, you know what I mean? Like, this is my spirit that is lifted from my slumber, and I can see my body is sleeping. And as I stand, and I look around my room, I can levitate three inches off the ground, so I don't have to use my legs. And uh, I can move around, and then my refrigerator is a different form, and it's always shifting, but it does it always speak. And it's like another language that I can't. It's like a, it's like a hum. Um, so it's, it's it, it can be interpreted. So to speak, I understand the message is sharing with you. Know what I mean? Hey, I heard you were talking about rats on the show yesterday. Yesterday on Friday, you and Freddie were talking about hunting and gathering. We're gonna get through all these and messages today, you were maybe. You guys wanted to go eat rats after the program and hunt them. I found that to be a little odd, um, but I hope you found some rats to eat. It just sounds like you guys are pretty hungry and you wanted to eat a rat. Uh, I was, uh, it was funny because I had actually eaten a rat just 10 minutes prior to it calling me here. I eat a rat, and it was really good. And he wanted me to eat him. He asked me to. And I said yes, that I will eat you. That come over. Uh, I'm gonna go see my brother. And, uh, I have another rat with me. This one's my friend. This is my friend, and he's gonna come over with me. Well, you should have to see the thing with the lady crossing his legs, listening to me. And me and this rat my brother and the friend. Yeah, Hi, you've reached Freddie Dobler. I can't come to the phone right now, but if you leave me a nice message, I'll get back to you as soon as I can. Thanks. The mailbox is full and cannot accept any messages at this time. Hey, Goodbye. Yeah, Kenny. Uh, so if I came out there to the West Coast sometimes, sometimes and I visited, oh, I'm looking at some goats out here in the field. I wonder if the farmers would be okay with me riding around on them. Where did they get upset? But, no, those aren't goats. Are those lambs or those sheep? I don't know. The animal. The big, they don't look like birds, but they say, oh yeah, if I came out to the West Coast, maybe me and you can go rat, uh, go look for rats together. Yes, well, well, yep, that was your last message from today. Hey, Kenny, I have a question. What would you do? If somebody is like a uh, like a hypothetical scenario, what would you do if somebody gave you a boat? What would you do with it? What would you do on the boat if you had a boat I that like you boat. could have? I'll try to give it away or sell right. it. Let me know. Flip it. Just a hypothetical. Give it away. So good. Well, they give me a boat. They say, "Here's a boat." I say, "I don't want a boat." 
I don't like to swim. I don't like the boat. Uh, what kind of boat? A rowboat? Maybe I'll go rowboat. But I don't want to get wet. Rowboats get you wet? I guess you don't get wet in another kind of boat. Maybe I would try to rent it out. Give it to somebody. Maybe I can live in it. I guess I don't like boats, but then I live in a boat. Like I, li I don't like the water, but I live in a houseboat. Is it a houseboat? What kind of boat are we talking? A dinghy? A rowboat? A canoe? A motorboat? One of those kind of crazy fan boats? Uh, jet skis? Is, is a jet ski a boat? Lots of kind of boats. And uh, I prefer, let's see, maybe a, a boat where you don't get wet. Can I get on like, the, 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 the ferry? I'm going to go ride the ferry. Maybe just for fun. And the ferry costs some money, I think, though. Is there a free ferry? Maybe it costs as much as the bus. I like riding the bus when I like the riding the ferry as well. What would you do? Hot shot? Is this like a speed? Uh, Dennis Hopper says, yeah, okay, okay, hot shot. You're on the bus. 50 miles per hour. What do you do? What would you do? What would you do? That was like a... That was like some Nickelodeon show with Mark Summers. I was it called What Would You Do, though? When they, he was just throwing pies at people's faces. The show was called What Would You Do? Double Dare. What Would You Do? I don't know. And then he, he, that guy did that, that show, Unwrapped. You ever watch Unwrapped on the Food Network? That was always one of my favorite shows. Well, we made it. Thanks for watching. It's Sunday. <laughs> We're on DC TV Show 22. 11.30 and 2 a.m. Check it out. Yeah, why did you be on YouTube? 360-360-4. Call the message on TV. Why did you be on dot com? Yeah. 360 Thank you. TCT, Baby, Thank you. Hey, John, call me. Where are you? Hell yeah, dog. Bye.